Welcome to Tutorials with Casey. Visit my blog at fairwindsteaching.com. Today we're going to talk about how to create a discussion spreadsheet using Google Slides. Let me first show you an example of one I've already created. This one is for a Google Classroom training and here you can see that I have questions up at the top and then I make a, an available spot here so that people can enter in their thinking. Now I can share this with all of the people that I want to do the training with and split them up into groups. See I've created tabs down here with different questions on each of the tabs. So each of the tabs will give different groups different questions to ask and they can enter in their data here. Then all of the discussion items can be saved by each of the participants in the discussion. So let's go ahead and look at how we're going to create one ourselves. In your Google Drive, go ahead and click New, Google Sheets. This will open up a new document for you to work with. You always want to start by naming your document so that you don't lose it. Then you want to figure out what you want your spreadsheet to look like. I'm going to go ahead and make this first column larger so that I can fit a question that I need. So maybe we're working on folk tales and fairy tales and you want to ask your students what is the theme of the story? Something simple or you can put more complex questions in there for sure. And then if you see down here we're on sheet one. To rename the sheet down here, click on the arrow and click Rename. I'm going to name this theme. You can also name it Group 1, Group 2, so a specific group knows exactly what tab you want them to be on. Once you've changed the name, go ahead and you can change the color as well so that they stand out. You could maybe say that Red Group is going to be on this tab. You're going to want to go ahead and change the format of your text to what you want it to be on each tab. You can change the font, the font size, if you want it bold, or if you want it to be centered, anything you want your text to look like. Once you have your page formatted the way you like, you can duplicate the tab. Go ahead and select the little arrow down here, and you're going to select Duplicate. That's going to make a copy of the same page you just created. So then it's easy to go ahead and rename, change the color, and change the question. Once you've added all the tabs that you want, your students are ready to access it. Once your students log on, if they're in the theme group, they can go ahead in and then select which cell they want to write in and they can type their suggestions and work as a group. A spreadsheet can be utilized to collect students' opinion on a discussion topic. The ability to have multiple tabs allows for multiple discussion questions. I hope you're able to use this Google tool to help you bring out more meaningful discussions in your classroom. Connect it to your Google Classroom. For more information on tech tips, please visit my blog, fairwindsteaching.com. Thanks for listening.